All right, we're going to find the discriminant, and then we're going to use it to find the number and the type of solutions. We're not actually finding the solutions for our quadratic, but we're just going to find the number and the type of solutions. So the quadratic we're given is 8r squared minus 7r minus 1 equals 0. So it's in general form, it's in the correct form to figure out what a, b, and c are. Well, the discriminant is the part of the quadratic formula that's underneath the radical. That's the part that's going to be able to tell us what kind of solutions we have. So the part that's underneath the radical is just b squared minus 4ac. So b in this case is negative 7, so I have negative 7 squared minus 4a, a is 8, and c is negative 1. So simplifying that, I get 49 plus 32, which is 81. So now think about it. This is the part underneath the square root, where it says plus or minus the square root, and then it says 81. Well, since the plus or minus part's not going away, then I know I'm going to get two solutions. And then since 81 is under the square root, it's a perfect square. So I'm going to get two rational solutions. If 81 wasn't a perfect square, then the radical wouldn't go away, and then I would get two irrational solutions. And the third, the other case is if I had like a negative under my radical, then I'd get complex solutions. Oh, and the other, the final case is if that were zero, then the plus or minus would go away, and so I would have just one rational solution.